Voss from the Chris Voss Show .com, the Chris Voss Show .com. Thanks for coming by and checking out on my blog. The concept I want to share with you today is why it's important to have consistent and also repetitive advertising. Um, as you see with most advertising on television, radio, newspapers, everywhere else, even across the internet, the companies use repetitive and consistent advertising. Now, some of it they do to build brand, but a lot of it they do to be there at that moment when you make your buying decision. Yes, they're waiting for you personally when you make your buying decision, or for at least a lot of more of us. Uh, but for all of us, that time when it comes is different. Maybe your car insurance expires at a different time than mine does. But they definitely want to be there at that moment that you decide that you're going to investigate or make a buying decision. So one of the most important things you can do is be marketing, 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 marketing. Now, uh, one of the things I want to share with you was someone uh, brought something to my attention recently. They tweeted me, and you can see this below this video, uh, their tweet. And their tweet said, can you believe that after a year of every day looking at your face, I finally decided to click on one of your links? Uh, the person has since wrote me and uh, said that they're now a, <laughs> a social media fan of mine. So uh, that's great. Uh, we converted someone else. But what's very interesting is he watched me every day for a year, and finally he decided to click on a link. And the fact that I just was in front of his face every day for almost a year was the reason that he finally said, you know what? I better find out what this Chris Voss has to say because it must be important in some regard. So, uh, and I'm honored that he's found that, uh, I guess some of what I have to say uh, bears some sort of importance on his life or what he's trying to do or impacts him in some way, I suppose. So, uh, in the end, I mean, that's a that perfect example. And so many people, they try marketing and they go, well, we bought some ads in the paper. Well, we ran some ads online. It didn't work. It's so important that you're out there. I'll give you another example. One of our clients, I believe... I can't remember which area of the world they're in. One of the clients came to us. They saw a LinkedIn status update, and it was a tweet that was about animals, I think uh, what it was, um, about animals, some joke or some comment, some quote that I put out on the thing. And it came through the LinkedIn service, and it originated from my Twitter. Uh, what was funny was the person called me up and talked to me about doing business with our business consulting for social media, uh, just because of this tweet that had actually nothing to do with it. It had nothing to do with sales, but they were just like, who's this Chris Voss person? And they seem to be saying some interesting stuff and I'd like to get to know them better. So, you know, well, there are some media people that will be, well, that's attraction. It's not. I was pitching. I was selling. Let's not BS each other. Uh, we've, you can go through my last four or five posts and we talked about that. But, uh, the fact that I was out there marketing on a consistent basis, on a repetitive basis, putting my image out there and my information out there, that's how you capture business. You're not going to get business if, if, you, if you go boating. You're not going to catch any fish if you don't put your net in the water and try and catch some. Um, so you've got to be out there. You've got to have your nets in the water. You've always got to be marketing. You've always got to be selling. And so it's very important that you do that, especially if you want to be successful in your product. If you're just tipping your toes in, you know, you're not going to be successful. Uh, I was a real estate agent for, I think, about 10 years. And uh, in the real estate business, it always used to blow my mind. I would meet people that would be selling their own home, and they would finally call me in to help them sell their home. And uh, I always get kind of a kick when they'd say, well, we haven't had any luck in selling our home. Well, what sort of marketing concepts did you use? They'd be like, well, we put an ad in for one or two Sundays, and then, yeah, that's pretty much about it. We have, we have that sign out front. We can't figure out why no one you know, doesn't come out with the sign. It's just silliness. You look and you go, well, you're selling, you know, what, a $400,000 item, and you've invested maybe $30 or something in Sunday ads or whatever it costs for that. Um, what did you think your return was going to be? So it's really important to sell, and it's really important to think of it from a large scale, that you need to be out there. The Internet and the multimedia world that we live in now is such an ADD 
it's such an ADD world where people are just going crazy with information. It's almost information overload for some people. But you've got to be out there in the mix so that you can capture business when the opportunity comes and people make buying decisions. So very important thing. Um, I think recently we picked up uh, our first client in Australia uh, this last week. And I think we picked it up because of some changes or some video that we did uh, on the website over the last week. So uh, that helped motivate them to pick up the phone and say, hey, we want to know about Chris Voss and uh, my consulting firm, Strategics One Consulting. So uh, very important, be out there, be marketing, be constantly pushing yourself out there and be reaching out to people. Should you blast them? No. Should you engage them? Um, okay, build relationships with people. Talk to them if they talk to you. I make it a point of trying to reply to every single tweet of someone who actually does talk to me. If you fall Friday with me, I'm not going <laughs> to thank you for fall Fridays. It helps you more than it probably helps me. So, anyway, thanks for coming by the ChrisVossShow.com, the ChrisVossShow.com. If you need a speaker for your next event, be sure to contact me and let me know. And hopefully, I'll see you at the, some of the future tweet ups that I'm touring out to. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.